Good morning. How are you guys? Tired. Tired. You're sl you've been sleeping for so long. Yeah, I think we just realized we slept 11 hours. And we're, we were so relaxed yesterday when we weren't filming, so... Yeah, I think we needed some sleep. Me too. Like, a lot. <laughs> Agree, uh, Marcus? You look dead. I want to sleep more. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> let's just sleep tonight. Yeah, let's take another day off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, we're, we're, we're gonna get dressed to get right back. But yeah, that was awesome. And we are back with energy! Finally! Yeah, we have pretty much slept uh, 10 hours, well, 11 hours last night. And 11 hours the night before. And that was really, really, really nice. Yes. So now Team Overkill is back in full speed. And today's mission is to go and check out what cool boats you can find in Monaco on a regular Sunday. Yeah, Sunday mission. So let's go check out what Monaco has to offer super yacht wise. Actually, let's let's start with that boat out there. Whoa, that's big. We need the long lens for this. Yeah, we're bringing out the full arsenal today because we are energized. Let's cut to the long lens. Bam! How does it look through the long lens? So huge. It's a sick boat. <laughs> On a normal October, is it October? No, yeah, still October, right? September. We are almost at the yacht spotting parade. <laughs> Try again. All right, we're almost at the harbor, which is Monaco's yacht spotting spot number one. Much easier than cars turn around and around and chase them. <laughs> yeah. And the funny thing is, the huge boat over there, I thought that was maybe that one, but now I see that we have a serious boat to go check out. But <laughs> let's get to these here first. Yeah. Well, we have, we have one giant that's usually not here, so that's cool. And then you have like a million insane ones <laughs> they look small but they're actually they're insane they're insane yeah like here's a good example like that looks like a little guy right yeah it small. looks like richards yeah richards is 65 that's a 92 so proportions in monaco just messes with your brain and you think small boats are small when they're in reality mega first boat approved <laughs> what else do you see I see the Mangusta 130. Mangusta has always been one of my favorites because they're like a giant speedboat, but just giant. Oh, Look yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see it from here. How cool is that? We should really try to get like a billion views a day. And buy one of those. Yeah. Right? So yeah. tell your friends, like if we all come together and watch. And like and comment and share. And everything. <laughs> Then we'll get a Magusta 130, and then we'll just invite all the viewers to come hang out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, just a small little thing to achieve. God, look at it, it's so sick. So the one next to it, I don't see a marker on it, that I'm not as good on yachts as I am on cars, but I would guess it's a Palmer Johnson. Correct me if I'm wrong. So those two. What would you pick? Definitely. Red or gray? Gray, for sure. It's just, it's so cool. And so sporty, I love it. Yeah. And they're big, and then you have bigger next to it, and then bigger again. And bigger and bigger. No, then you have another Mangusta 130. We live in Monaco, and we're usually pretty bad at actually taking the time to go around and look at these things. But so today, it's, like, it's different. It's like a perfect day today. We're energized, we have all our gear set up. We have a live stream coming in a couple hours. Yeah! Nemas problemas in life. Yep. We're looking at boats. We should probably move on from this pier because there's like a hundred more of these laying around. I have an idea. Let's pick a one, two, three out of everything we see. Okay. So far, I'm saying gray guy is in the lead. Actually, you know, fun fact of, the, of today. I used to compete in sailing. Did you? In the yeah. small boats? Yeah, yeah, like similar to that, but like more old school. Oh. And I was the district champion in Sweden. You were? Yeah, and my parents were Swedish champions in sailing. Cool. So I'm, uh, I used to be a good sailor. 
We should sail more. Yeah. Mega, mega cool. All dark, tons of carbon fiber. Yeah, and you shouldn't forget about the sailboat. And tall. Definitely up there. Yeah, so far it's on my top three because it's different. It's gonna be hard not to make this video 29,000 minutes long. <laughs> long lens. Now you can see the black and the white one and all the boats next to it, but from a different angle. Boat or a building? No, that's a building. It's the new Yacht Club. And I thought it's funny. I've been here for 11, almost 12 years. And this did not exist whatsoever. So this is the Yacht Club of Monaco. So cool. we're talking about yachts in Monaco, we should probably show the Yacht Club as well. <laughs> Which looks like a boat. Yeah. It's really cool, the design. I love it. See you again. The speed looking mega boat. That's what I like. Actually, this. Mangusta 92 is one of the few boats in Monaco that I've been out on. You have? I don't know if it's this exact one, but I've been out on the Mangusta 92. A friend of mine asked me, you want to take a ride in a boat? And I'm like, yeah. Expected a wakeboard boat and then stepped on board this. No, like this would have been like the most kick-ass thing I ever saw when I was a kid. This? Because you have a steering wheel. Like when we had boats when we were a kid, it was, uh, you, you control the engine to steer, not yeah. with a steering wheel. Hundred and, we had 25 horsepower at most. <laughs> And then you look at the fenders that are like two meters big and giant. Yep. Actually, we shot this from a different angle, so we'll show it from that angle so you guys can see how large this actually is. Because from the back, it doesn't give it full justice. It's like a parking lot in the back. Yeah, I don't even know if you can call it a boat anymore. I mean, yacht. Sorry, yacht. But it's more like a, a floating house. Huge thing. Floating yeah. house. Should we go this way? Uh... Well. Here's like 10 more of those, but smaller. But this one, <laughs> what's going on today? Sea Force One. It's something with the black and gray looking boats, yachts. That is just insane. Yeah, and there's another Mangusta. All right, here comes one of my top three for sure. The Wally. Like, look at this stealth, gnarly, insane looking boat. Like, that's a Yoon boat. Yes, 100%. I mean, number one. Not the biggest, but the coolest. And the coolest thing is that it's a good friend of ours who owns this brand. Yeah. So we should tell him we need to go on this boat. Yeah, like, tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow morning. Wally, -E, us. Please. Good combo. Please. And here we go, Mangusta number six Is it? for today. So we have two 108s, 192, and two 130. And also, a fun fact about this boat. Tell me. It's got a Vespa. It has a Vespa. All right, so on the end of this yacht tour, we're breaking up the big guns. Oh my God. <laughs> Taking stuff to a whole new level. Yep. It makes those other big boats seem really small. Like, look at this. Hello, mega yachts. Is that the true definition of a mega yacht? I think so. What about the one in the middle? And then we have hyper mega yacht. I don't even know how to film this to get a proper... Let's go out there. Uh, maybe if we go out here, yeah. It's like a giant ferry. This is big, even Monaco standards. Port. Mega, mega, mega yacht. Like, seriously, how many views on YouTube do you have to collect to get that? <laughs> I think maybe we, we need to find a new line of business to get that. Yeah. I think we should just aim for... Or maybe like, PewDiePie. PewDiePie could buy this. Think PewDiePie, so. I challenge you to buy that yacht. <laughs> we should do this more often, just go look at boats. Yeah, let's do some b -roll. Yeah, let's check out the long lens a little on this guy. I 
I think this guy deserves a bit of B-roll as well. Pure insanity. <laughs> like, look at this. You have three of them, and the old school one in the middle is actually the longest. Yeah. And you have Ona and Royal Romance, and we'll... That guy's winning. Yeah. Or girl. Guy, girl, whoever you are, winning in terms of big yachts in Monaco. So I think with, with these mega super duper yachts, we will finish off the yacht tour for today. Yep. Because now we have a live stream to go home to, and I'm actually kind of nervous, because 45 minutes live is... 45 minutes live. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see you home. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing. I feel when we're in Monaco, we should show you the special things and not just uh, that we cook pasta. <laughs> so now we showed you the boats. Yep. Oh, and by the way, there's two more ports in Monaco, but we don't have enough time to cover those today. <laughs> another day though. Another, an, another life, another day. But yeah, I enjoyed this. Today it was great to make a vlog because we went and did things we normally don't do. Yeah, we spent fun. three hours looking at boats. So, what three favorites do you have? Okay, Just hold on. Let's. Uh, I can't walk and think at the okay. same time. One. One. Third place. Third place, the gray Palmer Johnson. I'm gonna guess it is. Yep. Number two, the Wally, white Wally. Yep. And I'm gonna give. Royal Roman. No, I'm gonna go with Oma. Yeah. Because it's bigger. And it's off-white. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, top three in Monaco two. in today. But now it's time to go home again. So we'll see you back at the house or the apartment. The live stream is done. Yeah. We, we totally forgot to vlog it. We had plans on like, all right, we're getting ready for the live stream and all this. And then we realized that, bam, like it was right there. Yeah. So no time to follow up. But yeah, we just had a 45 minute live stream. Super fun, to be honest. So, uh, if you missed it yesterday, you can find the link up here? No. Ah! <laughs> up here. Yes. The, the, that way you can check out what we talked about in the live stream. It was fun because it's like, you can't edit out things. I think it was super fun. Me yeah. too. And I it went it. well as well. Hope everyone liked it as well because that way uh, it's perfect. Because if we have one day with a live stream a week, then it means that we can work on doing better vlogs. Yeah. Because we have energy and we can want to kill things. Yes. But I think with that said, I think we probably shot like 40 minutes of good stuff in the harbor and we probably have to edit up most of it. So with that said, I say we end today's vlog here and come back tomorrow. Yep. With so, more adventures. Yeah, so bonne nuit, à demain et au revoir. Au revoir. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs>